What's going on, all you Marvel movie maniacs out there? Fat Samurai Guy is here with Fat Ninja! And I would like to say cheers, cheers to all of you out there. Cheers to the MCU universe, because this is the end. I'd pour some for the homies, but, you know, I, I want to drink my drink. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy what you want. Enjoy what <laughs> But cheers to all of you out there that have been uh, fans since Iron Man 2008 and have come along with us uh, in this journey all the way up to, oh, it's been 11 years, correct? 11 years. Yeah, all the way up to uh, Avengers Endgame, that's right, and have invested and put in the time, the blood, sweat, and the tears, and have the, bit, uh, have, have gone through the, the roller coaster of the MCU, of the up and down roller coaster, of generic bland to amazing and entertaining and, and unbelievably awesome to back to generic average. Uh, but now we are here. Yeah, there's a, there's a roller coaster with the MCU. Yes. But the MCU's the roller coaster is not as far dipping down yes. as when you include, say, the Fox movies or the Sony yeah, movies. Yeah, there's, or, there's no Catwoman here yeah. Okay, there, in the MCU. There's no puke. Okay. Uh, some movies obviously are better than others, but there's there's been no utter garbage yeah. in our in our opinion. Yeah. So, uh, But, uh, whew, we just really basically got back from seeing Avengers Endgame from the theater in 3D IMAX. And, wow, what a, what a trip. What a what a what a journey, and it's absolutely impossible to review this movie right now for you guys without because, spoilers. Without spoilers, it's impossible to do. Uh, so we decided to do a quick uh, first impressions vlog for you today, and uh, stay tuned. We will be doing a spoiler review for you. At least me and Lady Fat Blood. Uh, she's in bed. She worked today, so she's tired and she's got a migraine. <laughs> uh, but me and her will probably see the film again. And let it marinate, because right now it's still marinating. It's still marinating right now, because there's a lot to take in. Uh, but we'll definitely do a spoiler review for you guys uh, a, a little bit later. It's a three-hour movie. Yes. Uh, I did not have to go to the bathroom because I prepared for that. Yes, we went before. <laughs> but some of you may, like, look at the app and say, Hey, Skull. when am I supposed to go to the bathroom during the movie? Like, okay, you're, you're going to do the thing you're going to do, whatever. <laughs> If you're watching this uh, little first impression, you're probably a fan. Yeah, you're probably a fan. Yeah. Or at least curious. Yeah. So, oh, well, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Thank you, Mr. Neenan. That's right. <laughs> An awesome, awesome homie and friend and fan of the channel made this. That's right. I represent Hulk, Fat Samurai Guy style right there. So, no more you guys stairs. Are kick out <laughs> no more stairs, yeah. So, there's not going to be any spoiler talk in this. Just a quick first imp impressions vlog for you guys. So, all I can say is right now, uh, we highly recommend that you guys go out and see it. We highly enjoyed it. It's definitely not a perfect movie, but then again, a lot of movies that we would usually rank five stars are not necessarily flawless. Yeah. I mean, um, Captain America Winter Soldier could be considered a five star movie or maybe one of maybe the first Avengers film maybe Infinity War definitely Infinity War but there's always flaws in uh, what, what do you call it nitpicks, nitpicks or or convenient yeah. plot retconning yeah. or you know we got <laughs> we we written ourselves in this situation and let's conveniently grab the MacGuffin yeah. and write ourselves out of it <laughs> and you you do get a little bit of that in here so i mean lady lady fat blood if you guys stay tuned, she's probably going to go into it a lot more. So, uh, she did enjoy the film also, if you guys are curious. But, yeah, we highly recommend that you guys go out and see it. Um, the film, I really can't really talk about the plot that much, but it's oh, we can at least give you guys a warning. And the warning is, this is a totally different film to what Infender, to, excuse me, um, I'm drunk already. <laughs> totally different film to what Avengers Infinity War was. This is not a non-stop action thrill ride movie. Right. Okay, so just a warning for you guys. Okay? There's more of a, a burn towards that. Uh, yeah, slow burn yeah. towards that. We're not going to tell you what happens at the end. We're not going to talk about the third act. Uh, but we just want to let you guys know. Because if you oh, they're going to go after Thanos, and we're going to have this big, huge... Well, no, it's not that type of movie. Um, sh shit does happen. 
They do get down. That's all we can say. They get down, and you... When they get down, they get down. Yeah, and it's fucking great. And there's definitely some fan service. Yeah. Some fucking badass fan service for you, for you guys I think, out there. I think there. I can say this without spoiling. Okay. There's emotional scenes throughout mm -hmm. the movie paying respect to some of the movies that came before. Yes. Which yes. is pretty interesting that they went that route, but I'm glad for it. Yes. It, it makes you feel rewarded as an MCU fan. Yeah. You feel rewarded that you've invested your time. And there's, like you said, like we, like I was saying, like there's a lot of fan service, and uh, you, you do feel like you didn't waste your time <laughs> all these 11 years. Of investing in the MCU so if you're not invested in the MCU you don't really care about these movies and, and that's perfectly fine if you guys like something else that's perfectly fine if you're a popcorn non-marvel fan will you like this movie what do you think I think you'd have a tough time with a lot of it you, you would definitely not get I, anywhere near as much out of it I think they'll be okay yeah but I don't think they'll be invested in the characters Especially when certain things happen to certain characters that we're not going to talk about. Uh, they probably be like, well, who the hell was that? Okay. There would be a lot of yeah. that for someone who's not a Marvel fan. Yeah. You're going to not know a lot of yeah. people. That and it's about. perfectly fine. If you guys hate the MCU and you think it's bullshit, that's fine. We just want to throw warnings out there that you're probably not going to be invested with the film. If you so. like state-of-the-art effects, you'll be fine. Yes, effects are like good. solid action when it's there... Yeah. That'll be fine. Yes. If you like... Um, Comedy. Yeah. There if are you, some funny moments, believe it or not. Yeah. There are and some funny moments. And if you like moments. seeing how Marvel's de-aging of actors <laughs> is off the charts amazing, yeah. you'll like the movie. Yeah, you will enjoy the film. So, there's there's some comedy where it, where it needs to be. Yeah. There's definitely... This is more of a character piece. This is more... This movie is really more about uh, people dealing with loss. You know what I mean? And dealing with loss and how to move on the best that they can with their with the, with their abilities. So that's kind of the that's kind of what this is. This is not necessarily a Thanos film. No. If you you know Thanos had his previous movie, okay. <laughs> so this is not a Thanos movie. He he's there. He's there, and he's prevalent where he needs to be. But this is not a Thanos film. So just remember, this is more of a. There's definitely a slow burn aspect to the film, mm -hmm. and it's definitely a character piece uh, type of vibe yeah. with the movie. Uh, Jeremy Renner's great. Um, if you never were a Hawkeye fan, that's perfectly fine. You might be but one now. You might be one now after this movie. <laughs> I really enjoyed Hawkeye. Everyone gets their chance to shine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and all, of, all the actors do a great job. There's Easter eggs aplenty, mm -hmm. including for fans of Community. <laughs> yeah, he, he's the Community guy. I've, never, I've seen uh, a few episodes. I haven't seen a ton of it, but, but I know <laughs> enough. Yeah. <laughs> There's Community references in yeah. this film, but uh, for some reason. But yeah, um, yeah so definitely uh, enjoyed the ride. Even though there's a few issues and nitpicks here and there. But I think what you were stating earlier is that overall, as a movie-going experience, yeah. the good highly overcomes and outweighs the bad. Yeah. That's with this film. So, um, Anything else without spoiling anything? Yeah, I mean, you know, there's, there's nitpicks, there's mm -hmm. plot holes. Um, yeah, definitely possible plot holes. Yeah. We don't know how many, <laughs> but we could say there's definitely plot holes. It's possible plot holes yeah. uh, but in the film. But for fans, you will be serviced. You will enjoy a whole lot of stuff. Yeah. 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 Anything else? Without spoiling? I don't <laughs> it's, know. it's hard. This is a very <laughs> difficult video to do. We actually originally wanted to do a review. And then the more we sat down and thought about it, we were like, we can't, we can't, we cannot do it. So, otherwise the review is going to be, things happened, and uh, stuff, and blah, blah, blah. So, we just at least wanted to let you know uh, that we did enjoy the movie a lot, uh, despite a few issues. And uh, we'll definitely get to do a spoiler review for you guys. I keep feeling like I'm missing something. But everyone kills it. All the actors do a great job. Everybody has a chance to shine. But yeah, just remember that going in. This is not a Thanos film. Uh, this is not a non-stop action thrill ride type of movie. Okay, But you will be satisfied. If you invested 
your time in the MCU, you will be satisfied by the end of the film. So the audience was cheering, they were, they were, they were uh, clapping, and uh, some of them were crying <laughs> a little bit. So some of you, not all of you, might want to bring your tissues. Uh, to the game, but we're not going to say anything. I'll admit, I got misty-eyed yeah. at certain Me, me too, yeah. but, you know. Um, but, I'm not going to say what right now. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, if you're a movie fan at all, yeah, it's something you ought to see. If you're a Marvel fan at all, you have to see this. Yeah, you have to see it, yeah. And then, uh, for if you're a DC fan and don't care about Marvel's, like, come over. Come over to the Marvel side, see what it's like. Yes. And if you like it, bring it back to the DC side. Some of the best franchises that are ever created, that are ever made, uh, the original Star Wars trilogy, uh, Lord of the Rings, okay, there's, there's a lot of them out there. Not too many, but there's, there's, there's a decent amount out there, franchises. That, some of the best that are ever made. Not all of them are perfect. Okay. Not all of the movies in it are flawless, perfect masterpieces. But you do feel rewarded with those other franchises, yeah. you know, from Lord of the Rings, starting from Fellowship of the Ring to The Return of the King. Yeah. You do feel like your time wasn't wasted, and you did invest. Uh, you didn't invest poorly. <laughs> yeah, you didn't choose poorly. poorly. Yes. Unless you watch the Indiana Jones films and went all the way to Crystal Skull, yeah. and maybe... And then maybe you can <laughs> watch that Crystal Skull movie. Yeah, so anyway, anything else uh, we want to mention that we liked about the film? It is it is long. Yeah. It had to be long, because this yeah. is the end. Um, the end. Um, anything else? Score was good by Alan Silvestri. Very well done. He's, he's the man. Let's see what else there was. I'm trying to think. Uh, That's why this is a vlog, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think anything else. Acting was there was, was there pacing issues? There's some scenes which I thought maybe went on a little longer than I would have expected, but yeah. Now, do you recommend people that have started their MCU journey but never finished? Let's say they stopped around Iron Man three. <laughs> they just stopped there. Do you, do you recommend that they go back and watch everything in order and, can, and finish their journey? Uh, not all the movies need to be seen to enjoy this one. But there are some movies that you have to have seen to right. really get the most out of this one. So they can do the little skip jump if, need, if necessary. If need be. Like you could probably maybe have avoided certain Ant-Man type movies or maybe... Well at least Ant-Man and the Wasp you can at least forward to the end credits. Yeah. <laughs> you get forward to the credits. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> to see that scene, and that's about it, really. Yeah. But. but you know, if you if you've if you have any interest in seeing this movie, you you really probably have already invested in some of the other movies. Right, 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 right. Um, now, is it always good to refresh your memory? I think so. Yes. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen some of the other movies in the series, but it's. They're hooking you in. Yeah. And this is part of what people don't understand about like movies in general. It's like, oh, they're trying to hook you in, trying to get new audiences. Like, yeah. Well, yeah. That's the whole point. <laughs> That's the point. That's why they're making these movies. <laughs> um, oh, man, I forgot I was going to say. Man, what's in this? <laughs> um, oh, what else was there? I'm trying to think. I'm really trying to think hard here. If we're missing anything else to let them know without spoiling anything. Oh, okay, you can at least say this. As of right now, even though you enjoyed the film, you highly recommend it, you were pleased with the movie, how do you feel about the future of the MCU hmm. right now? Non-spoiler? Non-spoiler. That's going to be tough, too. There's, there's are, you, are you positive? Like, we're going to be okay for a while, or it's over, this is literally the end game, and fuck everything that comes out after this. We're fucked. It's over. Maybe Sp maybe Spider-Man, Far From Home, will do, will be, the, the, maybe the last entertaining one, and then after that, it's... It's hard to say, because, like, 
long continuing franchises. There are not too many. That's true. That have continued the story without rebooting. That's true. That is true. You think of James Bond? How many times has it been rebooted? Yeah. Six? Yeah. X Men films? You know, they they, re they restarted with first class. Batman has rebooted how many times? That's true. Superman. Superman's been rebooted how many times? Yeah. There's not many long-running franchises that have not rebooted. Yeah. Um, and the few that have have not necessarily gone well. Yeah. Uh, I, I stopped watching Walking Dead. Oh, you, oh, really? For a while. And they have not rebooted as far as I know. Yeah. But apparently things are not going as well for them. Yeah, you're not the only one, though. Uh, there's a lot of people that I know that have big fans of Walking Dead and they stop watching. Yeah. So, yeah, it's possible that, they, you know, like you said, long-running franchises, they could fuck it up. Yeah. See, what people don't realize, though, and again, I go back to if you're not a fan of MCU, that's fine, but what some other people don't realize is that this, none of this was supposed to work. No. None of this was supposed to work. This is all... We were ridiculously lucky that we even got yeah. To the first Avengers film. A lot of this was new territory. Yeah. And is still new territory. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the way, kind of the way it's worked at all is the comic books were kind of the workshop to kind of test out things and then say, mm -hmm. Hey, we've got a storyboard here. Let's see how much of this sticks. And yeah. they've changed things yeah. from the comics for sure. But mm -hmm. they've kept other things. Like the best of the comics is for the most part, what we're seeing in the movies. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I, I was there since day one. We've been there since day one. 2008, the very first Iron Man since film. Since Iron Man 1. Came out. Yeah. And there was no guarantee that the very first Iron Man was going to be a hit. Uh, even starring Robert Downey Jr. I mean, he had a rocky past. So it's like we didn't know it was going to be a hit. And, and how many people actually stuck around for the end credit scene way back then? With Samuel Jackson showing yeah. up, talking about, I'm here to, I'm Nick Fury, and I'm here to, to talk about the Avengers Initiative. Yeah. And that was really like a Hail Mary. Like, let's see where that goes. Yeah. And fans are excited, and fans were excited. And then you have the next movies that came out, Captain America, and Thor, and all that. And there was still no guarantee. I don't think, in my honest opinion, I don't think we would even have gotten to the very first Avengers film if Captain America and Thor tanked. If they completely yeah. bombed. I don't think they was like, well, there's no point in investing all this money in Avengers. Yeah. You know. So there you go. Thor could have tanked. Captain America could have tanked. And we, we wouldn't be here. You know what I mean? So. But also, movie going was not as um, super blockbuster, like, dependent mm. as it is now. In terms of the franchises. Yeah. Yeah. And everyone now, it's like... They, they're already thinking three films ahead. Right. Like, we gotta, we're gotta, we going to do this franchise? All right, let's just make sure it's a trilogy. No, make sure the first movie's fucking good first, damn it. Yeah. And that's where Green Lantern fucked up. They well, didn't, they, Ryan Reynolds' Green Lantern. Yeah, they, Ryan Reynolds' Green Lantern. They, they, didn't think, they were thinking about trilogy franchise. It's like, no. Sinestro, come on, it's one, he's one, one of the best Green Lantern va va villains yeah. ever. He should have been the main villain of the first fucking movie. When the DC animated universe movie, Green Lantern First Flight, <laughs> did it perfectly, better than your live action movie, well, there you go. Yeah. So you got you to gotta come out guns a blazing uh, the first time if you want to, you know. Make and that's sure hard. It's, I mean, it's we, very difficult to do. We respect anyone that tries. Mm -hmm. You know, it's. It, it's hard to, to keep something going. Even Ant Man should have tanked. Yeah. Ant Man should have bombed, but it did it did well. Yeah. So it wasn't a super mega hit, no. but you know, it did fine. It made its money. Good good enough. Mm -hmm. Um and you know, there are many other franchises that have done a similar thing, tried to, and done poorly. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we, we know the names of many of them. We may not say them necessarily in this video. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. uh, oh, I just remembered one really important thing to say. I can't believe I forgot about it. <laughs> one really important thing to say. If you guys, like us, well, not maybe not, not the Fat Ninja, but me and Lady Fat Blood, if you were worried and concerned that Captain Marvel was going to fuck up the movie, okay, 
Nothing to worry about, okay? She is used perfectly in this film. They did a good job with Captain Marvel, I have to admit, uh, in this film. But she, just as a warning, not a spoiler, but as a warning, she's kind of barely in the movie. So she's not in the movie that long. So just, just, to, just to let you guys know. So, But yeah, if you guys were worried, <laughs> like we were, that after the whole saga, Captain Marvel was just going to fly in and go, Hi-ya! And then that would have been it. <laughs> and that would have been the end of the movie. She defeats Thanos. Girl don't, power. Don't have, to worry, don't have to worry about that. Okay, I actually liked... Uh, I was perfectly fine with Captain Marvel in the film. So we'll see what, what they do with her in the future. Now, is that credit to the Russo brothers, then? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. And, and we're not the only ones, too. Uh, we watched a few other videos, and some, people, some other people mentioned the same thing, that... Um, they were more invested and interested in Captain Marvel in this movie than her own fucking movie. <laughs> so, uh, just for you guys, in case you were curious about that. I, I don't think I've uh, mentioned my thoughts on Captain Marvel on, on this channel yet, but... Proceed, uh, sir. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. Right. I had problems with it. You were kind of just meh. You consider it an average Marvel film? I think it was okay. It wasn't great. Like I didn't have as many problems as, as you all had with it. I didn't on think our, it was perfect. On our rating scale that yeah. we use here on the channel, three's average. Yeah. Where would you rank Captain Marvel? Uh, when I first saw it, I think I had it in the kind of three and a half ish range. Okay. With more 3. time, 5. with more time, I'm thinking yeah, the, I could see the the problems and seeing it again. But as of right now, it's both, yeah. it's above average, three point five. Yeah. It, okay, that's fair. But there there are problems that I have I have had with it. And right. Right. I don't have those problems that I had with it for Endgame. Right. There are different problems. Yes. There are problems. Yes. Um, but uh, it's not a flawless, perfect movie. There are some yeah. issues. But we would have to spoil things to really talk about. But again, again, you can nitpick a lot of things. And we're not just talking because, oh, we're biased. No. We're going to talk about the problems when we, when we get a chance to. But, and, and here's another, again, another the quickie. good highly outweighs yeah. the bad. Here's another quickie thing. We're going to see this movie again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, before we even do the spoilers review <laughs> for you guys, we're going to see the movie one more time. So, uh, Because we need, we need to invest just a little bit more with it before we uh, get technical yeah. on the channel. But uh, I think that's good. I think that's it for... For the, today's video, right. let us know in the comments below what you guys thought of Avengers Endgame. Are you excited about the future? Are you scared? <laughs> Do you think we're going to get for Phase 4 uh, Avengers Secret Invasion type of plot? Maybe bring in the X-Men? Uh, Fantastic Four Silver Surfer? Uh, are we going to get some of that? Or are we going to get the same old crap? <laughs> If you think it's crap. So let us know in the comments below. Also, I want to see your Marvel MCU fans ranked. We want to read in the comments. We want to see how you rank all the movies up to Avengers Endgame. I believe for us, some of the at least top five yeah. have to be Winter Soldier, Avengers Infinity War, maybe the first Avengers. First Avengers. Guardians is up there, way up there. Yeah. Iron Man 1 is up there for me. So. Yeah. And you did enjoy Guardians, correct? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that's another video for another day. For another day, uh, our, our ranked MCU films list. But that would be a lot of fun to a, do. A, a top five without order, without ordering them. Oh, just all the ranked. all the MCU movies. Yeah, ranked. Without without ordering. Okay, them without. Saying, I'm, just, okay. I'm just throwing it out there. Just throwing not, it out there. I'm not saying what what ranking it is. Mm -hmm. Iron Man one. Captain uh, America Winter Soldier. Okay. Um, First Avengers. Okay. Avengers Infinity War. Okay. Avengers Endgame. Woo! So Avengers Endgame number one? No, no, no. Oh, oh you were going. I'm just okay, saying. Okay. Oh, just th just throwing it out. Five, there. Top five of of the twenty two okay. films. Those are all in my top five. Not a bad choice. Saying, without saying what the ranking is. It's not a bad choice. What? No Iron Man three? No Incredible Hulk. <laughs> No Thor the Dark World. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, though, I want to read those lists. So we'd like to thank all you badass is for watching. What the fuck is in here? 
<laughs> we see you guys next time. So stay tuned for that spoiler review. Peace out, guys.